Help me install inside mount shutters. Your shutters are designed for DIY installation, so they are really simple to fit. Depending on the configuration you've ordered, you should have received long boxes containing your shutter frames, larger boxes containing your shutter panels. Look out for a sticker like this on the long boxes. It means you'll find the hardware for all your shutters inside this box. It's worth taking a few minutes to prepare before you start. The more space you've got, the easier your installation will be. So move your furniture out of the way and clear as much working space as you can. If you've ordered shutters for different windows, look at the labels on the boxes and put the right boxes beside the right windows. Now, check you've got all the tools you need. A drill, a bradawl or small screwdriver like this, a spirit level, a hammer. Now you're ready to install your frames. Open your frame boxes carefully, cutting the packing tape along the seam of the box. Take the frames out of their protective packing. Next, open the panel box, cutting the tape along the seam again. Remove the panel from its packaging and put it carefully to one side. Now cut open the cardboard from the panel box and lay it flat on the floor. Depending on what configuration you've ordered, you should find that the shutter frames are mitered and have a small cut like this on the back. Lay your frames face down with the hinge closest to the floor. Now marry the frame lengths together to form the shape of your window. You can see how the cuts come together in a bow tie shape. From your hardware pack, take the bow tie fixings and push them into the hole. Then tap the fixing into the hole. It's a good idea to cover the bow tie for the last few taps to get the fixing flush without marking your frame. Simple! Now you're ready to install your frame. Your frame has a hinged side and a non-hinged side. Think about how you want your panels to fold. For example, if your panels are folding to the left like this, you want the section on the far left hand side. Hold the frame up to your window. Depending on the wall or window you are fixing to, you might need to drill fixing holes. Simply insert your bradawl or small screwdriver in the hole, mark the wall, and then drill. Easy. If you are drilling into wood or a stud wall, Take these long screws and drill two or three screws to get the frame fixed to the window. Use your spirit level to get the frame in the right position. Make absolutely sure that your frame is level on the bottom and the upright sections of frame are straight. Then add another one or two screws, so you have one screw inserted for each side of your frame. So far, so good. Now we are going to hang the panel in the frame. If you look at the frame, you'll see the other half of your hinge is attached to the panel. Lift the panel up to your frame so that the hinges marry together. Lift the hinge pin, marry the two sections of hinge, and then drop the pin to link the hinges. Now with the panel in the frame, insert the remaining screws. Use your spirit level again to check that the frame is level and square. If you need to fine tune the position of your panel in the frame to get the alignment just perfect, you can move the panels up and down like this. Once you are happy with the final position, insert this locking screw in the round hole on the hinge. And now for the finishing touches. If we've provided caps or covers, put them on. Remember to use the caps to cover only holes on the frames. Do not cover these holes on the side of your panels. On certain frames, you just need to dab a little bit of caulk or filler over the hole. You might want to run a thin line of caulk on the outside of the frame for a truly professional finish. And there you go! Shutters that look so good, they'll all be amazed you did it yourself.